And many of us are eating turkey and pie with family today, but some New Yorkers have nowhere to go. And that's where one Brooklyn nonprofit alongside Nets player James Harden come in, making sure there's a hot meal for anyone who needs it. And News 12's Justine Miller is in Greenpoint with more. Justine. Cranberry sauce, stuffing, and of course, turkey. The food is very good, it's excellent. All landing on plates for in need New Yorkers this Thanksgiving, like in Bill Wood. I'm not staying anywhere right now, so for me, it's, it's a game changer. And changing the game is nonprofit North Brooklyn Angels. This is just an extension of what, what we do at the North Brooklyn Angels basically every day of the week. Right, we, we, we serve the community and we're, and we're out making sure people get fed. They've been around for four years and put on this event last year for the first time. We do it because it's appreciated. We do it because it's needed. Needed by the 300 people who got fed here today and by the 100 additional New Yorkers who got food delivered to them. I, I, I got a good meal. I enjoyed it. In just two hours this morning here at the Brooklyn Expo Center, volunteers tell us they went through 80 turkeys, 400 pounds of sweet potatoes, and more pies than they could count. NBA Nets player James Harden even showed up, trading dunks for scoops of stuffing. I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Hope you, uh, you guys are enjoying your day, uh, get some good food, and uh, being with your family. Peace and respect. Love. Love that one man who got food here today says was palpable. Really surprised by uh, the generosity uh, of this organization, of the people uh, contributing their time. Close to 60 volunteers came together to lend a hand, yeah, like Jean um, Passante. You know, I've always been big when, like, with, when you're blessed, blessed forward. Those blessings appreciated and passed on. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone in New York City, and uh, God bless everyone of us. In Greenpoint, Justine Miller, News 12.